Good evening. Welcome to you all. Of course, it is a pleasure to welcome our new parents and guardians. But what really makes us smile at this time of year is to welcome our new Future Academy students. We all know that we're not able to be in person at this time, but that does not mean that our excitement is any less. We start to talk about, plan for and consider our new Year 7 students as soon as we know you are joining us. And of course, we want to welcome you as soon as we can, hence this evening. As soon as we are able to invite you in person, we will. We don't want to wait until the summer and we don't want you to have to wait either. When we look down at our list of new students, there is always excitement when we recognise some family names that are already part of our academy community. But running through the list, of course, are many, many new names, reminding us that the number of academy families once again increases. Welcome to you all. Welcome to your future Academies Watford. We start a journey together that will last seven years. We will learn, laugh, smile and perhaps even shed a tear together on our journey. But there is no doubt that the partnership we start this evening will help your child to get the best out of their secondary school, helping them to achieve great things and ensure their life is full of opportunity and success. Indeed, achieving freedom through education. I would like to take a few moments to look at our vision and mission here at Future Academies Watford. This vision is key to all that we do here. Leaders, staff, students, and we work in partnership with our parents and guardians. So this vision is known to the wider academy community too. You will see our motto, Libertas per cultum, shared throughout the academy and proudly displayed on front of our academy for the community to see. Now that this is your academy, it is really important that you understand what this means. We proudly use this motto and are proud of what it stands for, freedom through education. Here we deliver an education that provides our students with the building blocks to fulfil, fulfil, lead fulfilling lives, ensuring they always have life choices and life opportunities. We are driven by wanting the very best for your child's future and their future starts now. We want them to be able to become whatever they want to in life. In a few weeks, we will meet them personally during our interview evening and we will ask them about their ambitions. What they want to achieve in life is already important to us. We know they may change their ambitions, their ideas about their futures throughout that time with us. But every step of the way, we will be educating them and supporting them to achieve their very best. Education brings freedom of choice to be able to choose whichever university subject they want to study, choose a career they want, a choice to travel the world and a choice of life experiences. I am proud to be welcoming your child to an academy that has a rigorous knowledge rich curriculum that's delivered by expert teachers who are inspirational and aspirational alongside being compassionate. With me this evening are two of my vice principals, Ms Sudbury, senior vice principal, who's going to talk to you about the curriculum and the subjects studied and the sequence of learning here. And Mr Samuel is going to talk to you this evening about our pastoral care and the behaviour standards at the academy. To finish off in a while, I'm going to tell you about our enrichment opportunities and all that we offer here at the academy. Before I hand over to Mrs Sudbury, there are three words I want to share. These words will mean a lot to you as you travel through the years here at the academy. The three words are knowledge, aspiration and respect. Knowledge is power, and we consider this to be key to academic success. Students at our academy have access to the very best of what has been written and said over the centuries, and we aim for them to encounter exceptional standards of education in each of their lessons. Aspiration means a strong desire to achieve something great. By having the highest expectations, we encourage students to have those high aspirations for themselves and their futures. Success is as individual as they are. 
So we celebrate success every day through our recognition programme. Our students thrive in an educational environment that recognises and values the full spectrum of strengths, achievements, talents and community contributions. We embrace competitive opportunities and we are proud of our educational enrichment programme. And then finally, respect. This can clearly be seen in all that we say and do. Students and adults have respect for their own learning and the learning of others. We speak thoughtfully with kindness and always take the time to listen and respond. At our academy, we value and we're proud of the collaborative relationships we have with our families and the wider community. We are committed to working in partnership with you. We come together to educate and develop your child into a highly confident, responsible and polite member of society. Now I will hand over to Mrs Sudbury to introduce you to your child's academic curriculum. Thank you and good evening. I'm delighted to be here this evening to speak to you about the academic life of our academy, focusing in particular on our knowledge rich approach. We're very proud of our knowledge rich ethos and we talk to students about the importance of knowledge and the opportunities that come with knowing more. Some knowledge is particularly important to our journey and we call it powerful knowledge. This knowledge is specialised and takes the form of the academic subjects that students learn about at school. It is the best of what has been thought and said over the years and we believe that every student has a right to have this knowledge passed on to them. The greatest texts that have ever been written, the ideas proved by the greatest scientists, knowledge that has stood the test of time and enthralled generations of people. Having powerful knowledge helps students to make sense of the world and enables them to make informed decisions for themselves rather than relying on others to make decisions for them. Our knowledge rich curriculum ensures that teachers are able to teach this powerful knowledge in a way that helps students to learn and remember it. And we work very closely with the Outstanding Future Academies Curriculum Centre to ensure that our curriculum is academically challenging and focuses on the best that has been thought and said. We are ambitious for our students and we believe that every one of them is capable of studying challenging texts and learning about complex ideas, that every student has a right to this knowledge rich education. Key to this are our expert teachers who, with their deep subject knowledge and endless passion for their subjects, aim to inspire students in the richness and beauty of their subjects. Lessons follow a teaching sequence that prioritises students learning and remembering key information. Each lesson begins with high intensity retrieval questions that promote the importance of the retention of knowledge over time and enable students to build their new learning on existing knowledge. As subject experts, teachers then impart new knowledge to students through direct instruction and model detailed step by step explanations before setting students challenging tasks that enable them to demonstrate and apply their learning. At the end of each learning, a review of the learning takes place with the aim of embedding the new knowledge that has been taught. Teaching and learning is supported by the very best resources created by the Curriculum Centre, including bespoke subject textbooks that ensure that every student benefits from the same challenging curriculum and that teachers are supported to teach it to the highest level. I'd now like to expand on this by sharing with you more information about our curriculum, including details of what our Year 7 students study in their first year with us at Future Academies Watford. We prioritise teaching traditional subjects, including Latin and grammar, alongside promoting enrichment in the arts, music and sport. In English, the first text that Year 7 students study is the Odyssey by Homer. By the end of their first term, they will be able to quote important parts of it and tell you all about the main themes and protagonists. This is an epic adventure that they will remember for the rest of their lives. In history, we take students on a voyage through time, from the Roman conquest of Britannia in AD 47, to the War of the Roses in 1485, exploring how the world that we know today has developed over a thousand years. In geography, the learning begins with a journey around the UK before we embark on an exploration of European geography, studying rivers, coasts, mountains. Latin is taught at all future academy schools and our year sevens love it. It is very much alive to our students and we teach it for three reasons. First, it improves literacy. 60% of English words are derived from Latin words, so it's simple. The more Latin you know, the more English you know. 
students also study the rules of Latin grammar, which helps them understand the English rules of grammar much better. Secondly, Latin tends to be a language that is only studied at private schools and grammar schools, and we want our students here to have access to the sort of education usually reserved for students who go to those sorts of schools. And as you'd see, if you visit Year 7 Latin lessons, the students also enjoy it. The third and main reason we offer it is because we don't want our students to miss out on the opportunity to study a subject that encompasses so many different disciplines. Geography, art, history, philosophy and languages are all rolled into one subject and that opportunity is denied to the majority of students in the country. Fortunately, at Future Academies Watford, our children don't miss out. The final very important aspect of our curriculum about which I would like to go into more detail is grammar. We believe that it is vital to teach our young people the importance of accurate writing and developing their oracy, giving them the ability to express themselves fluently in different situations and to a variety of audiences will give them personal confidence and will help them to open doors of opportunity. We know that a sophisticated skill set in terms of reading, writing and spoken communication provides students with greater opportunities for future learning and success. And as staff at the academy, we model the higher standards and support students to develop their skills across the curriculum. Students complete daily grammar activities, revisiting each grammar theme throughout the year with the aim of building their confidence at using grammar correctly and showing them the power of practice. We believe that young people thrive when they are academically challenged, but we recognise that it's not always easy and we are there to support them in their learning when they find the academic hurdles a struggle. We teach them that failure is as important as success on the academic journey. Failures are only really failures if we fail to learn from them. We believe that the, the curriculum here, with its focus on knowledge and on knowing things in depth, is the best way for our students to go on to be academically successful, to acquire the great GCSEs and A-levels they will need, and which will set them up for success in their life beyond. The curriculum that your child will study during their time with us is the envy of many a grammar and private school, and that's quite deliberate. We believe that our students deserve the very best, and we strive to deliver that day in, day out, in every classroom, to every student. Thank you very much, Mr Sudbury, thank you. I'm now going to pass over to Mr Samuel, who is going to talk about the pastoral care and the behaviour standards at our academy. So, thank you. Good evening. It's nice to virtually meet and I can't wait to meet in person later on in the year. At Future Academies Watford, we have a comprehensive induction programme for our Year 7 students that introduces all aspects of academy life, paying particular attention to providing students with the where to go for what answers that are an integral part of their first few days at school. Our programme is not rushed and it's been designed to create a sense of security and belonging from the very first moment students cross our threshold. In the first few days of school, students spend time with their form tutor, developing relationships that often last the full seven years at the academy. The form tutor is the designated person to go to for any concern inside or outside of school. At Future Academies Watford, we've invested heavily in our pastoral care system. Our team comprises of two vice principals, an assistant head teacher responsible for transition, an associate assistant head teacher who leads on mental health, anti bullying, and our respect to gender, six heads of year, an additional needs coordinator, two deputy heads of year, and a school counsellor. All members of the team contribute to fostering a safe, warm environment in which all students can thrive. The change from having one teacher all day, every day, to all of a sudden having 13 specialists can prove daunting. At Future Academies Watford, we ensure that every day, all students spend a significant time with their form tutor, who supports their pastoral needs, but also performs the role of being their grammar and PHSE teacher. Where possible, we try to ensure the form tutors stay with their forms year on year. During weekly PSAG lessons taught by form tutors, Students study a range of topics from e-safety to personal finance. Our virtual learning environment is our digital one-stop shop, providing students with updates, notices, news about events and celebrations, 
and it's a personalised platform that caters for the pastoral and curriculum needs of our students. At Futures Academy, we have a culture of high expectations and no excuses. We offer empathy, understanding and support to all students in our care, but we are unwavering in our expectations pertaining to uniform behaviour and learning. We expect 100% of students to adhere to 100% of our rules 100% of the time, and we've been very successful in doing just that. Our academy culture is founded on mutual respect. Students are taught the importance of developing and maintaining positive relationships with their peers and all members of the academy community. Our behaviour policy is robust and balanced. At Future Academies, we spend more time celebrating success than holding students to account for breaches of our policy. And we're able to do this because of the clear messages we send and a 100% approach. Students have been involved in shaping our academy held definition of fair, and we practice this day in, day out. As an academy, we've agreed that teaching and non-teaching staff should treat all students equally, not allowing personal opinions to influence judgment. All staff receive regular training with consistency and delivery and practice at the core. The majority of our students accumulate high volumes of positive conduct points. Students can earn positive points inside and outside of the classroom. Points are awarded in the classroom for language and eloquence, reading with confidence, asking certain questions and answering, and we celebrate them weekly, termly and annually with rewards ranging from a postcard home to an invitation to the principal's lunch. I'm now going to pass you back to the principal who will talk about student enrichment. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. We are very proud of our enrichment programme and I'm delighted to present some highlights of our programme and some of the key enrichment opportunities on offer during your child's first year at the academy. We are deeply aware that your child's education extends beyond the classroom and therefore we talk about education enrichment being a key pillar of our academy. We are exceptionally fortunate to have the support of Lord Nash and the Futures Charity that helps us to deliver, um, to develop and deliver a bespoke and inspiring programme. In year seven, your child will be able to choose between music tuition and sports coaching. Currently, we have 100 students in year seven receiving tuition in guitar, violin, trumpet, saxophone and singing. The charity has provided this tuition and the instruments, and this is a programme we intend to continue next year. To hear the students enjoying and developing their musical skills is a delight, and I cannot wait for this to be the case with your children. There is also an equal number of students who each week receive personalised sport coaching in the sport of their choice. Competitive sport is an aspect of our culture that again is supported by the trust. There are many enrichment opportunities at the academy, but these two symbolise our commitment to delivering quality programmes to your child. As soon as we are able to, we will reintroduce our year seven camp, hopefully next year. And we are already in the early planning stage of our summer academy. Confidence in performing performance skills, the lifelong skill of playing musical instruments and the importance of teamwork, coaching skills and healthy competition are aspects of our education enrichment programme that we are very proud of and proud to deliver. And we look forward to a time when we can deliver more sports and performance opportunities. And of course, linked to healthy competition is our house system. Again, in line with the best schools, our health system is designed to embody the values and ethos of our academy. We know that belonging to a house creates a culture of community identity, pride, curiosity, creativity, leadership and individual and collective responsibility. All the points your children receives, uh, whether it be from class activities, taking part in reading competitions, winning a spelling bee or being part of a winning sport team contributes to the winning house for the week and their flag is proudly displayed outside the academy if their house has won the previous week. We look forward to allocating your child to one of our houses, Apollo, Athena, Hera and Zeus 
they will be allocated to a house when they arrive in September. So thank you for listening to our brief presentation. Now I would like to take uh, the questions that have already been sent to us this evening. Now how this is going to work, because I've, I've got the, the questions, thank you ma'am, um, the questions that have been sent in, and I'm either going to allocate those to Mrs Sudbury or Mr Samuel, um, who will answer some of those and I'll, I'll take some of those questions myself. Now, looking at the, the questions, um, we've answered some of these already through the presentation um, and we've grouped some of them, um, a few questions together, um, hopefully answering everybody's question in some form or another this evening. If you do have a specific question about your child, of course, there are lots of opportunities in the future to, to ask those. The first of those opportunities being our meeting on the 17th of March. So I'm going to take the first one. Um, we've had uh, a few questions relating to equipment and uniform, the things uh, parents would want to do to um, help their child prepare for their start in September. What I can say about that is uh, we are providing a comprehensive pack um, of information that tells uh, parents and guardians um, everything they need to know. Um, that pack is, it covers all aspects of the Academy of Culture. It will be sent to you just after the Easter break and you will have plenty of time to buy everything you need, order uniform, etc. There may be some questions you have after reading that information that we sent out. And again, I can't stress enough, um, Mrs Pooley is always here to answer your emails and uh, answer your calls if you give us a ring. Um, but all of that information will come to you just after Easter. Um, the, uh, the next question, um, how do you support students who are finding learning a challenge? Um, Ms Sabri, can you take this one? Yes, of course. Uh, we're very keen to support students who find learning difficult at times. Um, and this starts when we receive information from the primary schools um, and, and they tell us about the support that's already in place for students. Now, that's reviewed by our lead Senko, um, who will ensure that the support is in place um, when they arrive at the academy and, and make sure that we communicate with parents and guardians about that support. Now, our Senko, Miss Williams, um, will be in touch with primary schools and with parents and, and guardians in the summer term um, and, and we'll see what support we can put in place. If in the meantime you have any concerns, any questions, then please do get in touch with us. Thank you, ma'am. Um, we've been asked some questions about uh, things such as the school day and, and homework. And again, I think it links to my first, um, the first question, my first answer. We'll provide all of that information in the packs we send out. Um, just to give you a, a brief summary, though, on those two things, um, the Academy uh, students arrive at 8.25 in the morning. Um, they have uh, six lessons per day and they finish at 3.05, um, except on the day when they will have their music or sport coaching and tuition. In terms of homework, um, the students receive one piece of homework per evening. And that increases as they move up the school um, and that's all the subjects uh, will set in setting tasks. But Mr Samuel mentioned our VLE, our learning platform, and all of the homework goes onto our learning platform. So as parents and guardians, you can see what has been set every evening. And we um, we also have a parent portal, um, particularly um, information that you need as parents and guardians. And again, you have your child's timetable, homework timetable, everything you need in terms of all the details about the curriculum it is all available to you in a, a one-stop shop so our, our VLE is very important both to the teachers um, and also parents carers and um, and the students have access to that it's got everything on there including daily messages from their heads of year so a very important aspect of our academy the next question um is one that does come up uh, a lot and it's can students have a mobile phone that's linked to our behaviour policy and our partial support. Sir, can you take that one? Thank you. Thank you. Whilst we understand that parents and guardians often want their children uh, to have a phone for safety uh, travelling to and from school, uh, mobile phones must not be seen or heard uh, once a, a, a child crosses the threshold. Students must switch off their mobile phones upon arrival and place them in their school bags. 
The, Academy, the Academy's mobile phone policy is included in, in our behaviour policy and it will be sent out to all parents to share with their children prior to starting. Thank you, sir. Um, I think this does link to, to a point you made, Mr Sabri. How do we find information about your child and how do we use this? Well, the first thing that will happen in the uh, is in the summer term will be we will make contact with your primary school. I'm very much hoping that as I have done in years past, um, I'd like to visit the primary schools with Mrs Pooley. We do go out and see your child in the, in the primary school if we possibly can. Um, we would then meet with your uh, child's primary teacher and the SENCO and that's where we start to, to talk about your child. And we want information that's going to help with that transition. So we talk to their teachers and we also, of course, take note of anything you share with us at the evening events we're going to have. We will meet on Saturday in the summer and meet with you individually. And of course, you can always give us any information you feel would be useful. And we use that all that information to provide the best support and transition package we can for your child. I'm going to go to the, the next one is another one for you, Ms. Sabri. Um, how do you challenge high ability students and how are students set it at the academy? Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, I've talked a lot about our curriculum um, and our curriculum is designed to challenge every student, including those those high attainers. Um, so you know, our curriculum already makes it possible for teachers to extend those students. Um, we also make use of the information from primary schools and the results of the CAT tests, um, which um, Ms White will talk more about in a moment, to make sure we really get to know your child quickly and that we share that information where appropriate with, with teachers um, so that they can make sure that they're planning lessons um, with the needs of students in mind. So we ask them to um, put together what we call a context sheet, which make sure that they understand their individual students and, and they plan lessons with them in mind and think about really how they're going to stretch some of those students. Um, but we also ask teachers to pitch their lessons in the top quartile of the class so that every student is challenged um, whilst at the same time making sure that there are more challenging um, activities available for those really high attainers. So every child should be challenged in lessons. Thank you, ma'am. The next question again is a question that uh, I'm asked every year um, and I am happy to, to answer this one. Um, the question is around uh, the bullying policy. Um, at Future Academies, every student, of course, should feel safe from any uh, abusive language, bullying or unpleasant behaviour. I would wish that every child um, wouldn't make some of the mistakes they do. We have children who sometimes do make mistakes and we have a policy in place that ensures they learn from those and that we have a safe um, and supportive culture. Staff operate with a clear understanding that students behave with courtesy and respect for all. And we do have a robust policy, but we also track every incident to ensure that we are holding ourselves to account that we are dealing with things in a robust way. We have something called our respect agenda, which you've heard about, but a, a key part of that is the respect button. And the respect button is on the VLE, which is accessible to both the students and parents. And that is a way that students can confidentially um, talk to the senior team, talk to myself and talk to senior members of staff who will pick up anything they are concerned about. And the reason that the respect button here at Future Academies Watford is so important is because parents and guardians can use that too. This has been brought about because what we want is we want if ever your child comes home and there is something that is worrying them, then you want to be sure that you can tell us immediately and that we can respond immediately. And there is nothing worse, I know, um, than your son or daughter's coming home telling you something and what do you do with that information? Well, at our academy, what you do is you go on the VLE, you tell us about it, I get it immediately, we look at those, uh, uh, those emails and we are resolving the issues, we're thinking about how we help your child resolve any issues with peers before they even come in really the following day. We're there to pick them up, to talk to them 
and put things in place to help them. And that, we believe, is a very strong response. Um, and every concern here is carefully tracked and I review all of those um, respect to gender concerns. So I hope that gives you a flavour of our, our culture here in terms of respect at the Academy. OK, next question. Uh, what cultural and religious diversity is there at the school? Uh, leading on uh, diversity and equality, sir. Thank you. Future Academies Watford is a non-denominational school. And we have and we welcome students and staff from a wide range of cultures and faiths. We pride ourselves on celebrating diversity, and this is evident in our religious education lessons. Our pastoral assembly program embraces and celebrates religious festivals of all of the major world religions. Our canteen regularly celebrates world foods, and I can uh, I can attest to that. Um, our equality and diversity measures are embedded into our academy improvement plan. Thank you, sir. Um, this is a great question to to answer, and it's uh, relating to our restaurants and the food. Um, it, it's very regrettable that you can't be in for our open evening. We we showcase our, our restaurants. We're very proud of our restaurant. We have an executive chef here at Future Academies Watford and the food that he produces with his team is amazing. Um, we have theme days. We have food cabarets. Um, some days if he's doing a, a stir fry, um, he will lay out all the food and the students can go and sell and have some of that and some of that and that. It's it's lovely. They get to test the food. Um, if they're not sure whether they want to try something, I'm sorry, if they're not sure whether they want to buy something, they can try it. Um, it is incredible. Um, particularly the question came up around food allergies. And um, any student that has an allergy um, has a session with our chef. Um, with Kachina and the student has the opportunity to talk through that with him and he does um, at times um, if he's doing a special dish he will talk to the student but he can prepare food with your child's um, needs in mind and he does it every day so um, we are very very proud of that in terms of paying for food we are a cashless academy and we don't have cash here and parents uh, can go on to parent pay put your money onto uh, your child's account um, and they can use that during the day at break and lunchtime. And the lovely thing about that is you can see exactly what they bought and exactly what they've eaten for the day. So um, yes, but we are very proud of our, our restaurant facilities. That's Kachina that run that. Lovely question, thank you. Um, and what will the first day look like at the Academy? I think that's something probably all the youngsters are, are thinking about, all our young people. I'm going to start by saying it's a wonderful day of discovery. <laughs> it is an awesome day. And I often look back seven years later to that first day. Year seven pupils will spend their first day with a form tutor. We will introduce students to all members of the pastoral team, take them for a tour of the school, practice using the canteen, set up individual counts and logins, and provide answers to all the questions that our new intake might ever need. As I mentioned in our introduction, our induction programme is comprehensive and we take our time. No questions at all go unanswered and students are with familiar faces all day. It's a wonderful time and I can't wait to see you. They often worry about not being able to find their way around. Oh, I promise that when we go on our treasure hunt around the school, <laughs> Uh, by the time we finish, you'll know every single place uh, intimately. Yes, it, the academy's it's big, but it's not that big, and you soon find your way around. And the the final question uh, absolutely is for me. It's uh, a question about the the trust, and we have gone through a transition and moving to a new trust recently. So, uh, how what is the impact of that in terms of the academy? Well, future academies Watford continues to go from strength to strength as part of Future Academies Trust. We are very proud to belong to uh, this family of schools um, and being part of this trust has offered us some amazing opportunities um, which benefit all of the students. We receive outstanding support in terms of the Curriculum Centre, which Mrs Sudbury has already spoken about. 
Um, they have re redirected uh, some resources to us to ensure that we have amazing facilities here. Um, in terms of our remote learning that we've gone down during lockdown, the support in terms of the resources, the laptops, the devices for both staff and um, for students has been incredible. The Academy's uh, students obviously benefit from the Futures Charity, as I've spoken about. And alongside all of that, of course, importantly, they challenge me and support me with the leadership team in terms of Academy improvements. It is a, a, a pleasure and an honour to lead uh, the school um, whilst being part of the Future Academies family. So thank you for those questions. Um, Please, we, we've tried to cover all of those questions, answer all those. I hope we have done so. Please, please do um, ask any questions of Ms. Pooley, who's available all the time for you. OK, thank you. We've talked about the full induction programme plans and we make a commitment to, uh, to you all that we will communicate the key information every step of the way so that you are fully supported to support your child through the transition. And we are always available to answer questions, as I've said. Mrs Pooley, um, the contact details are on the website, but she's already sent those out to you. And we will communicate each time we have a key date or a key event, we will send that information. Just as a summary of those are on the slide, we have our student welcome meeting, which is Wednesday the 17th. And this is an opportunity to meet with one of the teachers from Future Academies Watford remotely. Um, it's an opportunity for parents and guardians and students to ask individual questions. And we'll be asking some questions um, of you um, so we can get to know you. We then have another sort of interview day um, near the end of the summer term. We'd like you to meet you again, catch up with you, see how you've been doing in terms of being back to school and learning at primary school. And it will provide us with an opportunity to answer any of those questions that have come up, considering you will have much more information then. We will also explain at that meeting about the CATS. Now, the CATS test, the Cognitive Ability Test, that will be Saturday the 3rd and you will be given um, time to come in and um, further details regarding all these tests will be shared uh, with you. There is nothing to worry about, so I'm probably speaking to um, the students now, nothing to worry about at all. All they are is the tests that help us to help you to get the most from your learning no preparation, no worries, OK? Um, we have our taste today, which of course we really hope um, takes place this year. An opportunity for the students to visit Future Academies Watford during a normal school day. It's a great day and you'll experience learning at the Academy. So let's hope that can go ahead. And then that evening, the same evening, we have our induction evening. Um, when we talk, um, final time, we'll talk about the, the Summer Academy, etc. You can meet all the Academy staff at that evening. Um, and hopefully, if we can do that face to face, we've put sort of uh, a, might be a remote at the time, but if we can do that face to face, we will. And I was asked another question that came through. Um, will you be able to visit the Academy if we're allowed? As soon as we can, the invite will be there. As soon as we are able to have large, larger number of people in, we will do that. So thank you once again for joining us. As always, it is a pleasure for us to talk to you about your academy. We are now looking forward to welcoming you in person on the 17th of March when you get to talk to one of us, as I've said. So my final message is always the same, and it's a message firstly to parents and guardians. I could give you a long list of things you could do to help your child prepare for secondary school, but it's not my final message. My message to parents and guardians, don't worry about anything during this transition time. We will keep in touch every single step of the way. We will guide you in all you need to do, and there is lots of time. More importantly, we will be here to discuss anything with you, anytime you need us. Just pick up the phone, drop an email, and we will be in touch. And of course, we all know our children grow up far too quickly, so enjoy the time your child has left at primary school and they'll be with us soon enough. And then to my new year sevens, talking to you now, I cannot wait to meet you personally and to get to know each and every one of you. Enjoy your time at primary school. 
don't wish your time away and enjoy being back at school. Remember, don't worry about anything. I know you will have heard that being out of school, children have missed so much. Well, my message to you is don't worry. Everything will be fine. We will be here to encourage you, challenge you, yes, but always support you and always help you. I already know you are going to be a team player in a great year group. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Ms. Sudbury. Thank you, Mr. Samuel. Uh, thank you for joining us. Take care and it's goodbye for now. Thank you.